Will the United Nations recognize the Taliban's Afghanistan? The United Nations is considering the possibility of recognizing the Taliban's rule in Afghanistan. The Deputy Secretary General of the UN, Amina Mohammed, announced plans to set up a meeting to discuss this possibility. The intention is to engage with the Taliban authorities to encourage the development of the country and address the wide-ranging restrictions against women they opposed after seizing power in August of 2021. These restrictions curb women's rights to work and education, contradicting the Taliban's initial promises of a softer, more moderate rule. Mohammed visited Afghanistan in January to discuss these issues with Taliban leaders. She also raised concerns about the Taliban's growing strength due to increased economic engagement from neighboring countries. However, after a meeting held in Doha on Qatar, in Qatar on uh, May 1st and 2nd, no recognition of the Taliban government took place and no members of the Taliban were invited to attend. So I wanted to talk about this because this is, nothing has happened yet, but I still feel like it is very significant that there are officials from the UN now openly publicly talking about the consideration of Taliban recognition. And just the fact that they're even saying that out loud, I think is pretty noteworthy. And Armin, did you watch the video that I sent you about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what is your opinion? I you know, it's breaks my heart to say this, but I think it needs to happen. I might be, you know, it's it's just I think it should have happened a long time ago. It it disgusts me to say this because I see mm -hmm. what the Taliban is doing. I've seen videos that breaks my heart. I've seen video like these are these are sick, sick people. And there are certain videos of what they're how they're treating people in Afghanistan that I I can't I don't know if, if I can even describe here. I might like, we're not going to show it, obviously, but even the description of them might make YouTube flag it. I'm, it it's vile. It's, these, there are, cert, there are pe certain people in Taliban that just doesn't, don't have any empathy and compassion for the fellow human, human beings. It's, and and mm -hmm. But the thing is that but for the sake of punishing the Taliban and uh, how monstrous they are, are we going to make more people suffer? Like how many Afghanis are suffering because of the because of the lack of trade and the lack of investment that is going to into Afghanistan? Like it, it's it's just the situation is so bad. There's it needs such an immediate injection of investments and trade and money right now that. That I mean, if there was another way, like if there was like, oh, this could happen or this could happen, maybe you could talk about like not recognizing the Taliban. But there is no other door right now. Mm -hmm. There is no other. There is no way for the Taliban to not be the rulers, right? So this mm -hmm. is the reality. So what are you going to do? Are you going to just cut down all the trade opportunities for people? Are you going to make all the people in Afghanistan that need to make a living, to make it? To start trading, to make uh, to have a business with the rest of the world, are you going to make all of them suffer because of the Taliban? So you're punishing the average Afghan person because the Taliban is so monstrous. I mean, I don't know. Maybe um, a lot of people see how disgusting Taliban is and think that saying that that we need to recognize them as something so morally, you know, they they will see see what I'm saying as something so evil. So, uh, um, you know. I am talking about negotiating with terrorists. Well, these terrorists are the state now. They they are the state. So, um, you know, and and I, I understand the moral hazard as well as here. Like, so what? We are going to reward people for being brutal? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, here, what are you going to do? What are the alternatives? Tell me the alternatives. It's easy we to reward some you, people for being brutal, or we punish everyone yeah. for their actions. Yeah. So again, yeah, I mean, I um it's easy to say we shouldn't be doing this when you are not the one who's starving, okay? It's easy to sit down here like, "Oh, these people are terrorists and we shouldn't be negotiating with terrorists." Yeah, we're sitting from a we ha I have I have food in my fridge, I have my safety, uh, and I I have a, a future to look forward to. I can say that from this distance. It's all beautiful to say that Taliban is evil and we shouldn't be recognizing them. But, you know, when you're not the father that is looking at 
her daughter going hungry and maybe like the mother that you're saying that your the father of the family is selling the daughter to an old man like a a, 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 a nine year old ten year old child is your uh, your daughter is being sold off as a sex slave so that the rest of the family could eat when you're not that sure, person like it's easy to say yeah yeah it's easy to say those things when you're in that position yeah, yeah. I think it's a really difficult and uncomfortable conversation to have because it's it's this contention that we have when we have principles, but then there are consequences. And ultimately, Armin, for example, your moral system, you are more you're you are concerned with the consequences of these principles. So you're saying we can't continue to deprive millions of people as a whole from any chance of prosperity yeah. on the basis of our own principles because like the few ten tens of thousands of people that rule them are against our principles right the yeah, consequences yeah. of that are too unbearable the misery that would come from that are too unbearable for you to just cling to your principles indefinitely right and mm. one thing that i in this some of the comments of the un official that caught my attention was basically she's i'm going to paraphrase she said like recognition is clearly what they want and she basically said it's the only leverage that we have the only leverage that we have on the taliban right now is whether or not we will give them recognition because we've already yeah. hit, we've already hit them with everything else that we have yeah well i mean you don't have that leverage actually because they're, they're not going anywhere. So at some point you have to recognize them. Mm -hmm. You actually don't have any leverage. No. Um, and they don't care. And they are, they have the, they have the advantage of not caring about their people suffering. So if they get that late, as long as they get it, they're fine. Anyways, we need to really move on, but mm -hmm. uh, we got a few, but let me actually, you highlighted a few comments about the story. Oh, no, um, that was an old no, one. That's, Okay, okay. So we got a super chat by GJ saying it's a tough choice. Either go to war again with Taliban in Afghanistan for another 20 years, or this time try to win a ideological war with wars and pens and phones and keyboards now. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a long term. If you're if you want the, the end of Taliban, this is going to be like a 50, 60 year battle now. And it's going this to is be generational. an ideological war generational it's not going to happen with it's not going to you're not going to win this war with 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 guns you have to want to win it with wars and it's not and it's going to take a long time like afghanistan is unfortunately the average in the and it's so much farther behind when it comes to secularism and liberalism um islamic state is what the average afghani wants so this is going to be a very very long battle unfortunately yeah. but Indeed, thank you so much gj for the support is saying i don't trust recognition would mean anything different for the people it's a horrible situation yeah it well i mean recognition means trade trade means money coming in so it will mean something yeah get my best selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description